Hello and welcome to this Arduino, Arduino tutorial. Today I will kick you started with the Arduino and uh, we will fast process how to get started with the Arduino IDE and programming for the Arduino. Okay, so basically you see here the different pieces. I have uh, the Arduino piece here. This is with a Bluetooth uh, connection and the Arduino chip on board. Uh, I have the USB connector here and I have the RGB module. We will use this for uh, to, to, to see if uh, to get feedback uh, of our first Arduino program. Okay, let's put them together first. So I will just take the USB connector and the Arduino board and press them together. And on top of this I will press the RGB module on top. Perfect. Okay, this was the first step. Let's now just download some software to get this stuff running. First, on the Arduino page, you will uh, you will find the Arduino libraries, which are located here. Uh, all the links uh, will be down below, so you don't have to uh, copy paste the links you see here. Okay, so um, just download the Arduino libraries. Then head over to the Arduino site and download the Arduino software, in this case the 1.5.6 R2 beta. Uh, I use the Windows installer in my case. And also you will need the virtual compost drivers. Now those you will get on the ftdichip.com. Um, I use the x64 bit Windows. Um, Windows version and you will need for your Android uh, phone you will need this sample app um, which was released by a user on the Arduino forum just scan the QR code and install the application okay so let's get started by installing the drivers first because this uh, will be, I think, the hardest thing for some people. Um, this uh, is the file we download, the CDM v2. Um, I just unpacked it here. So you just need to copy this address and then head over to the device manager. Now, I will take the Arduino as it is now and I would plug it in to my PC and see if uh, this works okay so you see we have here now a USB serial port um, you will have uh, another device called USB serial converter um, Windows already installed this one as it seems however I will again reinstall this now to show you how this will look like uh, browse my computer for driver software you just input here the uh, the folder you download the drivers and click next uh, okay perfect so wait a second paste Ah, okay. Very nice. Now it should work. Okay, you see now here, USB serial converter, it was installed. And after that, you will see here also the USB serial port. Uh, and you have to install this one too. So that every device which is not displayed here uh, has this name. So basically yeah, we will have the USB serial converter and the USB serial port and uh, you will have to know the COM port number so remember this number here COM5 uh, for later use. Okay let's head over to our downloads. 
Uh, you see here I have the Arduino software. I will install it here real quick. Better as a as an administrator. Um, yes, I agree. Install USB drive, etc., etc. Yes, please. But I want to install it under program here. So, okay. Um, just remember the folder you installed it because you will need it later. So while this is installing, we can head back to our downloads. The RF Arduino here, uh, zip, I unpacked it here. And uh, you have now this Arduino folder with the different libraries and stuff in there for the RF Arduino. So we just copy this folder. Uh, okay, I will just wait for my Windows. You just copy this folder over to the Arduino installation when it's ready. So we just wait here. Okay. Okay, so you see this took some time. Um, the extraction of the 64-bit drivers can uh, take some time on some PCs. So, well, it is completed now. Uh, I just say close. And uh, then we head over to the hardware folder of our Arduino installation. And you remember we unpack the Arduino folder. And I just go into the hardware folder and then into the Arduino folder. Remember, hardware Arduino. And just paste the Arduino folder in there. So this will also take some short time and after that you will be able to uh, program directly for the RF Arduino. So let's head back to our program and open up the Arduino IDE. You see, okay, I have to allow access here uh, in Windows 8 maybe too. Okay, however, we have now here the Arduino programming environment. Okay, so just open up tools and you will see under port the different COM ports. Uh, you may have only one port. I have three because I have also other devices using COM ports. Um, so you just select your COM port you remember from the installation in the device manager, COM port 5. You just select this this one and you head over to board and now you will have the ability to choose R Arduino because you pasted the folder into the Arduino program installation directory. So select R Arduino and then you will see here we have some examples. And uh, in those examples, uh, where usually only the Arduino examples are, you will find the Arduino BLE and the Arduino GZLL and non-BLE examples. So we just choose the Arduino BLE example and open up the color wheel example. Okay. So, now that we have the color wheel example, let's upload it onto the Arduino. You will see some light sh lights flashing here, hopefully, so that you have a good view. Okay, now this installed, hopefully correctly. Success, perfect. All right, so, um, now we just open up our application here and say, uh, okay, let's say Arduino. And I hope you see this. Uh, maybe I will do this this way so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, you see, this is the Arduino test app uh, I told you uh, earlier. Just 
scan this QR code and you can download it. Um, all right, so let's just connect. I will scan for devices. And this should give me the Arduino device, hopefully. And there it is, device info. I just say connect to the device. And you see it is connecting. Now the Arduino should flash when it connects. There it is. We have... Okay, perfect. Um, now let's just type in here some value to send. Uh, the example we used is using hex values. So I just... I will just type in here 00 FF 00. Those are RGB hex values, so uh, red 0, green FF, this is the maximum, 255, and blue 00. zero. So if I type now uh, send, it should turn right green. Perfect, that's it, perfect. Okay, you can also receive data, of course. Um, if we head over here to the color wheel Arduino, let's just write here some data, for example, in the on receive. Let's say um, this was uh, the Arduino BLE library. So if you call a function from this library, you just have to do Arduino BLE dot and then we have here the function send int. This sends an integer. Let's just say 350, 3,405, or whatever. And now every time the Arduino receives something, it should send back some integer. Let's just check, test this out and see if this works too. I will just take my phone. So remember, if you if you connected already one time with the sample app, you have to go back and restart the app. Ah, already success and restart the app, and um, then scan the device again. And also on some devices, you may have to pair your phone first to the device. So. Um, in this case, you have to pair the device. Okay, now I like the color blue, so I want to have here zero 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 FF. And now you will see when I press send. Ah, okay. Now this is disconnected. Okay, connect. Um, and when I press send value, it will respond with my integer. Perfect. So send value. And you see down there in the data bottom, you see, I hope you see it, um, there is the data we sent back. So if I just send again, you will see there is another one. And Okay. Perfect. Okay, so this was a tutorial to get started with the RF Reno. I hope you know now how to get started. Uh, here is also the link to the to the source code. So if you need something, you just go head up to uh, Ian's uh, GitHub and RF Reno test, um, and you can compile the Android source code and maybe also make some uh, nice application of your own. Okay, what else? Uh, you also may consider watching this uh, um, uh, the, the Arafino programming reference. You can find it on the Arafino site. Uh, I will also post this link below and uh, as you can see you have here every function uh, you can use with the Arduino library. Um, 
and yeah, and some examples also. So thank you for watching and listening, and I hope you have fun. See you.